Hey, what's going on, everybody? Shane Presley here to tell you about my friend's music record shop. Check them out in the heart of the Grove at 4191A Manchester Avenue, right in between the Ready Room and the Demo. This week they got new records from The Dead Weather, Churches, Disclosure, and reissues from Queen and New Order. Mention Rock Paper Podcast and get 10% off your order. They do uh, new music happy hour every Friday and live in-store performances on Saturdays. One of the next ones is October 3rd, Rock Paper Podcast presents Brother Lee and the Leather Jackals and Delta Soul Revival. Uh, sponsored by Four Hands Brewery and the Gramophone. So come check it out, October 3rd. Follow them online, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, musicrecordshop.com. This is Through the Scope, and you're listening to Rock Paper Podcast. <laughs> um, a podcast is kind of like a, it's like a radio show that's not on the radio. It's on, it's on the internet. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> that's also like my mom. Uh, it makes it sound more confusing, doesn't it? Uh, it sounds like this. Rock Paper Podcast With Shane and his guests You will listen to what he says Shane will drive to your house And bring you brownies Talk for
Hey, what's going on, everybody? Shane Presley here, Rock Paper Podcast, episode 119. Hanging out with the guys of Through the Scope. Hello. Welcome to the show, guys. What's up, man? What up, dude? Uh, I guess uh, we'll get this thing started by going around the room, and you guys can all say hi. And Am I up first? Yeah, sure. Hello, everyone. My name's Henry, and I am the vocalist for Through the Scope. Welcome, Henry. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Thanks for having me on, <laughs> sir. And I am Alex. I play drums. Sucks. I'm Chris. I'm the bass player. I'm so Jake, and I play guitar. All right. Yeah, so uh, you guys were uh, set off, Mike. This is like your first uh, interview, huh? Official yes. interview. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. If well, you don't count drunk people at Point Fest, do Hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they count for me, right? It's always good to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is exciting. I mean, you guys, uh, this is a very exciting time to, to talk. Because, be uh, yeah, we've got the album coming out. We've got a big show coming up. Okay. Uh, All right, got a lot so, going on. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, about that, 10-3, October 3rd, come yes. out to Pops and uh, of the CD release party mm-hmm. with uh, local guys, uh, Discrepancies. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Those guys, those guys have been kicking some ass lately. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yes, they have opened up for Mushroom Head recently. Yeah, so. yeah. I was at a. I I ducked out before Mushroom Head, but I was at Pops that night to see Midnight Hour and Discrepancies, uh, and they, those two kicked some ass down there, and it was a lot of fun. And but I I end up running across town to another show, uh, and uh, so I didn't stick. I, I saw Mushroom Head a few times before. With um, the head-to-head tours with P- with head PE, so yeah. mm-hmm. I've seen them both a um, couple times, and but they're, yeah, uh, the, they're good shows. Yeah. We've never played with them. I know a couple of the guys came out to one of the Battle of Point Fest shows. Check yeah. us out. That was a while ago, though. Oh. That was like winter. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess that's where we we can start there. Like I met you guys at uh, at that battle. For Point Fest. Yeah, was that the first one or the second? Um, I think it was the s- second. Yeah, I, think, um, I think you were there for the first one, weren't you? I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, but it feels like you were. I feel like I you, know for sure the second. Yeah. I think you've been at Pops every time we've been at Pops. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Every single time. I, uh, if you go to Pops and look around, you're the, you're always there. Yeah, so. I, I try to be that guy. Yeah. Well, that's, hey, it's that guy. It's yeah. a good guy to be. Uh, <laughs> But, I mean, one I I love uh, <laughs> I love local music. I mean, I you know, a bit, like I said, the backbone of this show. But you know, it's just a good time to get out there and and see some live music any any night. So, uh, and pops they they uh, they're always doing it, man. They always got great shows coming through there with, and it's nice that they give guys like yourself uh, a stage to play. You know, lo- yeah, you know to support the local scene and stuff. So. Oh, it's an awesome. It's an awesome place to play as well. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely our yeah. favorite venue. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They definitely have their their act together. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, so I, I think uh, so. I met you guys there uh, either the first or the second uh, round, and uh, yeah, I was like, I got, we have a um, mutual friend Tim, and mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. and he was telling me about checking you guys out, and then that's uh, um, led to me down there and. Thanks, Tim. Uh, yeah, thanks, Tim. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, he, somebody said it was like your second show or something as a band or whatever it was, and I was like, holy shit, you know, like, this is crazy. <laughs> like, you know, you guys are second show and you're in the Battle for Point Fest, uh, and then... Our first show was actually the first Battle for Point yeah, Fest. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> our fourth show was Point Fest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's, uh, yeah, that's... Crazy. I mean, yeah, I mean how does when is Moving that? On, on. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even uh, we didn't even plan on playing Battle for Point Fest because we got done. Uh, I guess got done writing the first of our material, practicing it, and then I sent an email to. I think it was Coco or somebody. Uh, it was uh, the other guy. Shit, what's his name? Oh, Colin. No, Colin. Colin. Yeah, Reagan. And uh, I was like, hey, we're uh, we got done writing our shit. If you guys got any shows you want to throw us on. We sent him links to the demos, 
which uh, don't listen to our demos because <laughs> <Some, laughs> they sound like shit compared to the album. And uh, he was like, he's like, oh, we got a spot open at Bell Point Fest. He doesn't do that. And I was like, fuck yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. So that was our first fucking show. I, I thought I thought the battles were done. Yeah, I thought yeah, we, I thought they were all booked yeah, up. I thought we missed missed the boat on like, that. Oh, one. maybe next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got lucky though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Uh, what uh? So how was that uh experience playing Point Fest? Oh, it was great, dude. Was awesome. Awesome. Got to, yeah. Yes. You know, it was awesome to, that was our first dive into the local scene to to actually see what other kind of bands are out there. So it was awesome to get to hear what other bands are doing as well as finally get our shit out there, you yeah. know. And, uh... You got to yeah. play with so many great bands in the process, too. Sure. I right. know. Yeah, that was great for me, too, because I haven't played out since fucking high school. So yeah. yeah. I was yeah. definitely ready to get out and play shows again. Absolutely. Yeah. And before before we started playing out, I hadn't played out in, what, ten years? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Since... 2000. Alex is old as shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's the grand old man of the band. <laughs> We're only going to be together for another five years for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's our riots. <laughs> <laughs> Got liver spots in there. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, so you, you guys had all played previously in the scene or something? Or, or just uh, on your own? And... A lot of basement bands. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, basement yeah. bands for me, and then a cover band. I played like maybe four shows in a cover band prior okay. to our first show, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I started out when I was um, fourteen, playing guitar in a cover band uh, with like my brother and my dad. Yeah. So it was good because my dad was in the band, so I got to go play bars and shit, being fourteen, which is yeah. pretty cool. And then uh, that broke up because we had douchebag singers, and then uh, I played in a the only metal band in my high school uh, and they needed a bass player and I was like fuck it I play guitar I guess yeah. I can play bass so I did I was with them for a year and now I'm full time vocalist so yeah. you know all I have left to do is drums alright <laughs> not stealing it from me <laughs> and I, uh, I don't think I could ever get that good I've been playing since I was basically three years old keeping up uh the neighbor How could you even remember? <laughs> fucking liar. I mean, it was like 45 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, really started taking it seriously around, I don't know, 12 or 13. Uh, started playing in a little cover band with my stepdad at 14. Did a couple shows. Then uh, formed my own band after that. Played in a couple bands. And uh, only one of them... Uh, really came up here. Uh, I'm from Cape Girardeau. That's where they were all based. Uh, but I was in a in a band called Emaciation that's still around um, in the Cape Girardeau local scene. But um, with that, I got to play the Milwaukee Metal Fest a couple times. Played the same stage as Ice T oh, and yeah. Body Cow, which is pretty cool. And yeah. then, uh, we actually got to open up for uh, Cannibal Corpse at Pops, which was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. that. Yeah, definitely cool. Uh, that uh. I guess uh, Ice T and Body Count was at uh, Warp Tour or something. I think uh, they did. Uh, uh, I think they were on Mayhem or Mayhem uh, last year. It was one of my buddy uh, got uh, went went to the show and he got pictures uh, an autograph for me uh, of Ice T and Coco. Nice. So I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so yeah, um, and then uh, Cannibal Corpse wasn't that they were. Wasn't that them and uh, Ace Ventura? Ventura? Yeah, yeah, right. Sure yeah, that's that. That's all. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Excuse me, sir. Smashed face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I I pulled that line a lot. That uh, yeah, the whole uh, uh, New England clam chowder. <laughs> Is that the red or the white? Uh, <laughs> never remembered that. Um, yeah, such a great Glad movie. Somebody else that movie was that. fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Finish those quotes. That's yeah, great, great, yeah. Flick. great flick. <laughs> Captain's log. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's cool that you guys, uh, you guys come from all sorts of uh, various backgrounds, and that. So what gets you guys into metal though? Like we're it just uh, your. Uh, um, you, you said you're playing with your dad, Henry, and. Oh uh, well, I mean, we. Uh, we didn't play metal at all. Yeah. We just did, you know, typical 
cover band songs, you know. Um, but I got into metal. Um, basically, I kind of got bored playing. Like, I mean, I'm ashamed to say Nickelback was my favorite band at one point. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy shit. Did I never tell you that? No. Yeah. Yeah. We probably no. wouldn't have let you in the band. I was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was in fucking sixth grade, so I mean... Um, man, but I look got, at this yeah. photograph. Yeah. Uh, I guess they were, they, you know. I don't understand. Though. They make tons of money, so obviously people like them. Yeah, you know? yeah, they're good Some, right? somehow. Chad's got his shit on lock. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but I got bored playing that kind of shit. And then one of my buddies introduced me to Kill Switch Engage. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, I yeah. learned some of this shit. Yeah. <laughs> so well, Nickelback when they first like hit, like they did have some pretty yeah, decent they, stuff. Yeah, like yeah. their first couple albums were. Were good. Yeah, they were, they were relatively yeah. heavy too. I mean, yeah, I mean for, right. for being Nickelback, they were yeah. they were. Yeah, and then like, but yeah, the rest of the some of the shit they've been putting out, like, is just hey, yeah. hey, I want to be a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I can't, I can't really say a whole lot because Creed was one of my favorite yeah. bands. That's uh, honestly, Mark Tremonti is one of the people who got me into yeah. heavier guitars. Sure. Is, like, Creed's listening still, to old Creed. I still and, listen to Creed sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I still blast it. You know, you listen to like What If and stuff. I mean, there's yeah. some pretty heavy stuff there. And yeah. like, um, but yeah, then they went and did a, you know. Six feet from the head. <laughs> that was one of my yeah. favorite songs for a long <laughs> time, too. <laughs> I still play that guitar riff all the time. He does. He really does. It's a great song, man. I, I love Tremonti. Gotta give props to that guy. He knows how to work his way around a guitar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I... Uh, you said Kill Switch, and uh, I was going to ask you guys because you guys just got to play a show with with Howard Jones yes, yes. and his uh, new project, uh, Devil You Know. So, mm-hmm. uh, was that was that a pretty surreal moment, or yeah, yeah it, was, it was definitely a big, uh, nice big jump, you know. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah, fun. Yeah, sweet. Sure. Dude, he's one of my heroes. Yeah, right. Howard Jones, he's the man. Yeah, he's such probably a, the best metal vocalist. Such alive. a commanding presence. Yeah, yeah. he he do the controls the room as soon as he walks on stage. Dude, yeah. it was weird though because I think we had more people watching us than there were people watching. <laughs> and, uh, huh. It was fucking weird. Like yeah. I was ex- yeah. I was expecting that place to be absolutely packed to the fucking yes. gills. Yeah, and there was like twenty five thirty there, people. I don't to, know. To I mean, our I, own horror or anything. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do that a lot though. Like man, I go to a lot of shows and I'm like, you know, I'm just a go in there I'm like where the hell is everybody at like yeah. you know it's just there was I don't know what it happens if it's you know not being promoted right or whatever but I'm like I'm you know super excited as a fan that I'm here and I'm like front row and there's like 10 people in the room but as a fan I'm also like what the hell is going on why right. are there not more people here yeah, and right. like I feel bad for the band sometimes but well, I, I think part of but, it was uh, it was at the Firebird and that was yeah. like back with the anniversary of the Michael Brown shit so all that yeah. Ferguson shit was like flaring up again sure. so I think that scared a lot of people away from yeah. Now. yeah it could have I mean, we can make excuses all the time. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was, because, yeah, that was the same day they shut down I-70 uh, yeah. at the Bunch oh, yeah, right. so, yeah, yeah, Howard made a comment about it. He's like, how about all these bands that came out here and got robbed today? <laughs> yeah. Man, that's, a, that's something that's messed up. I don't get what's going on with that, but there's, like, every week I see somebody's got their, you know, their shit broken into somewhere in St. Louis, yeah. and, like, yeah. uh... I don't know. Be really detrimental to the scene as far as touring acts. They yeah. killed Michael Brown. Let's burn down the fucking Little Caesars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, uh, Talking I about uh, bands getting broken into and stuff. That's I, something's got to happen with that mess. It's getting crazy with sure. all the touring bands that keep coming through here and getting their stuff taken. Yeah, I don't. It's it's. Not I don't know. Good. Yeah. Not good. Yeah, I see fucking like GoFundMe accounts all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, our shit got stolen in yeah. St. Louis. Can you help us? Well, out? then, like, yeah, somebody uh, in the dummies, they put it all on eBay. Like, they say, like, it, oh, we got a whole trailer full of gear. Yeah, yeah you found that too. Yeah, right. yeah. Like, perfect for any, st- yeah. you know, band trying to start up or right. trying, to, trying to get a studio going. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's not suspicious. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, I saw some video, like, a guy, like, put up uh, a thing about a lock that has, like, a GPS thing or whatever. So, like, um, anyway, something like, but, you know, the 
you hide it on the trailer or something like that, and then you can track your stuff down wherever you know if anybody. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, or something like that, and that's actually a um, really good. Idea. But there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of things. But there's got to be something done. Like I don't know what's going on. Like why St. Louis seems to be this target of uh, of all well, the. They, well, they put these venues in not so good areas, yeah. and then you know, bands have to park on the street, right. you know, around the corner. Things like that. And there's not, there's hardly any security patrolling sure. the area, you know. Whereas at Pops, you know, I mean, hell, we were out there passing out flyers at the war show, and there's, you know, three trucks, you know, security guys driving around, you yeah. know. Well, food bar did <laughs> well, have that. We didn't get guy, stopped, yeah. but uh, my girlfriend got stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I took uh, my, my brother in law down there. Uh, to Pops, like when he was, I guess, 14 or something like that. Took him to see, I think his first first one we went down there to was like red jumpsuit uh, apparatus or whatever. Um, because she was like a huge fan. and, and like, But uh, my mother-in-law, his mom, was like totally worried about taking you know, her, her baby, her 14-year-old son, to, yep. to Pops and stuff to the east side. And I'm uh-huh. like, it's like... Really, nothing to worry about. I mean, right. it's yeah, not exactly a great neighborhood because you're surrounded by two strip clubs and everything else. But, yeah. but there's no <laughs> that's the funny part sure. about it. Right there. Yeah, so there's, there's, really, there's the Monsanto the Drive and yeah. the big yeah. factory and then titty yeah. bars and that's yeah. yeah. And then, but you got like I said, the security's driving around. Right. They, they don't. You know, there's there's They've nothing. Got plenty of cameras around. Yeah. You know? It's a very. I mean, I. Well, you know, I mean, things can happen anywhere, but I feel like you know, they do have plenty of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, from what I've been reading, it seems like a lot of the robberies are happening when they're just like stopping for lunch somewhere. Yeah, or right. Like yeah, it's not even at the venue. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's crazy. Saudi only has like three hundred people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, so the album Center Mass. Uh, where'd that title come from? What? Guns, uh, guns and stuff. Guns and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, you know when you're. You, we figured we'd kind of play with the whole through the scope thing. Uh, you know, you're shooting a gun and you always want to aim center mass, and yeah. we're kind of aiming center mass for this album. So nice metaphors, yeah, yeah. metaphors, <laughs> <laughs> metal uh, fours. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I got uh, I got to listen to some of it today at work, and I, I was really digging it, man. Like, uh, I'm not I'm uh, I'm not huge on metal necessarily. Mm-hmm. I do uh, I listen to a lot of uh, more. Um, blues and stuff, um, uh, but I, I really got into uh, some of the tracks I thought uh, uh, stuck out for me were uh, "Distance," uh, "Looking Good with Broken Bones," "Seek and Hide," and "You Don't Know." So those uh, nice. those four uh, grabbed my attention. Thank you. So, so yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they all all for various re- like I thought. Uh, <clears throat> with you don't know, I thought it was fun because uh, actually has Henry singing more instead yeah, of instead of all singing right the instead song. of the um, more growling and. Screaming. I try to keep a nice fifty fifty mix right. going. Got to got to put that soulful voice to use. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like butter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> creamy, <laughs> creamy beige. <laughs> um. But I, another thing I I really like, um, even though it's like real heavy and like you guys are you know getting down and then like you'll hit like some tasty guitar riff in the middle there you know just like do some solo and uh, and I love how like it sounds like really good like because um, it come you know it comes through very well the way you mixed it and stuff and like I, I don't it was just it was fun to yeah. hear. Got to so, give props to Shad. Oh, yeah. Shadrick, yeah. Shadrick Beecham. Beecham. He's SB man. Studios in Cape Girardeau. Yeah. He's a man. He's a beast. Yeah. yeah. He's got the chops that are put anybody to shame. Right. I mean, literally, his his, his chop sideburns, yeah. they're fantastic. <laughs> they're phenomenal. They are. They're Perfectly are. groomed. They're expensive. He was mentioning that man bun of his. That man bun. <laughs> No, uh, Shad's a really good guy, and he does really awesome work. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. If you're in a band so, and you want to record 40 bucks a song, You'll never find a better oh, deal. Yeah. For the, the quality work that he does, we were blown away by how good it was. We weren't expecting that yeah. for yeah. paying that much for songs. So, yeah. Hell yeah, shows the man. Yeah, yeah very cool. Uh, how, so, is that a, a buddy of yours from Cape Girardeau or something? Or how did you guys No, we actually it? got uh, recommended, or he got recommended to us by uh, uh, 
Stephen Lepper. He's a friend of uh, Rev Nation. Okay. He talked to talked to me at uh, Point Fest after our show, and uh, was asking if we were looking for a studio to record. And was talking about that. And I'm like, well, hey, that's my hometown. Yeah. So, you know, let's, wow. let's check it out. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited to uh, to get a copy of uh, the physical album. Yeah, they uh, we are too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they should be in at the end of this week. I just got a notification that they're shipping today. Yeah. So. Nice. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm still. Uh, <laughs> Damn it, Jake. <laughs> I, I'm still one of those guys that loves having a physical copy, though. Like I, yeah. I oh, absolutely. Yeah, totally. uh, if I'm going to pay money for it, I yeah. want it, you know, be it CD or vinyl. Sure. I want it in my hand. Yeah, I'm I, still going to you know, yeah. put it on my phone somehow so I can listen to it Definitely. wherever I'm at. Right. You know. Well, that's what's cool with vinyl. I mean, I've, I've gone into a lot of detail with my love of vinyl on the show, but like... Uh, What's cool is that they're doing like a lot of them where you get like uh, like the business card, download card uh, yeah, inside yeah. the album, so you don't have to yeah. worry about ripping it or buying it twice or any of that. It's yeah. already done yeah. for you. And uh-huh. So that's a nice thing about buying vinyl. But yeah, even um, but yeah, even CDs are you know it's easy to rip uh, getting a digital copy. But it, so I might as well spend another. Or a lot of times it's the same price. You get a physical copy for ten dollars or buy it on iTunes for ten dollars yeah, yeah, or whatever. Right. So. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I love uh, you know the artwork and the liner notes and all the stuff that just it comes comes with it all. I, you know, just pictures and everything else. It's oh just, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's all part of it's, the. It's an experience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the smell of it when you. Yeah. Know, <laughs> you know, I mean, you really. You Ripping know. the plastic open. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely. Yeah, we're definitely excited for it. Yeah. So who uh, who besides uh, like Kill Switch did you guys, you know, like? For getting into metal, you said something about Lamb of God earlier. Oh yeah, yeah. Lamb of God's my favorite Big band. Ones, yeah. So yeah, um, you know I can't really say we sound anything like Lamb of God. Sure. I mean, there's definitely some influences there, yeah, but you uh, know I wish I could sound like them. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, they're definitely a huge influence as far as uh, the metal of the band is concerned. Yeah. Um, I think Godsmack was probably the first metal band I, I ever got into. Like Godsmack and Rob Zombie back when sure. his Past, Present, Future came out. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was my introduction to metal. Uh, I saw uh, Rob Zombie at uh, like Mayhem or whatever that one he does. Uh, or I think it's Mayhem, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, he's done yeah, yeah, yeah. a couple, at least one or two times. But he... Once. Uh, man, it made me laugh because like he's up there and playing, and of course uh, we're in the the time when everybody's got their phone out recording it, and he's like he went off and like yelling at the the crowd, and he's like uh, put you know put your phone down. There's enough shitty videos on YouTube of this show, like you know just enjoy this moment and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Drives, did. So go ahead. I was gonna say that drives me crazy. Yeah, I've just seeing all phones in the crowd. Mm-hmm. You wanna you wanna let yeah, him out? Yeah. I was gonna see. Would you mind letting him out real quick? I'm sorry. Yeah, he did. You're the best. Yeah, he did this. He did the same thing when I saw him at the pageant uh, back in '09. Yeah. Uh, everybody had their phones out. Nobody's moving. Right. He stopped the show and told everybody to get their phones out. And they all stood up on their platforms. He's like, "Everybody, get your pictures. Grab his. Now. Yeah. Grab the, grab did, the plastic. You know." Did different poses and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny. But, For sure. And he told him to put it away and start enjoying the show. I even saw Aziz Ansari one night at uh, at the pageant, and you know, see him. yeah, it was great. It was a lot of fun. But it's, it's you know, it's a comedian. He's he's going to be standing there holding a microphone the whole time. It's not like he's doing exactly. But, yeah. So, mm-hmm. but people and they said it made they made a nice announcement saying you know put your phones away, don't record this, and just you know. And, um, but of course, as soon as he steps on stage, you know, you see all the flashes <laughs> yeah. going off and stuff. And like, and he, he's like, uh, and it, he basically did the same thing, joked on. He's like, all right, get your pictures out of the way. And he's like, you know, but like doing like the robot and like in all these different <laughs> motions. And, and, uh, so, and then he's like, all right, now put your phone down and let's, you know, have a good time. Exactly. So. Uh, that's, that's one thing I, that really bugs me about going to concerts now. People just living through their little, mm-hmm. you know, three-inch screen. Yeah. Instead of enjoying the moment. It's like, how many times are you going to watch that video? Sure. That you just, re- you know, 
you wasted your money yeah. to, to live through this little screen. You know? I I do uh, I try to record like one. Um, totally understand. I, something I like, like that. I've always liked taking pictures of shows. Yeah. You know, but you know the people that sit there for sure. You look at the you look at the timestamp and it's like yeah. thirty minutes. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? Well, yeah. Now and now they're now with uh, iPads and everything else. They're like you know now that you got even a bigger screen, they're holding you know. Taking up the whole, you're right in front yeah, of your face. So. <laughs> but uh, I, I like recording like one. Like I use my YouTube channel almost like as like a time capsule kind of uh, idea. Yeah. Like I like to record a song and put it on there like a and try to just um, sort of like catalog all the different things I've been to. And right. I don't not every time, but I do I do a lot. Like I've got a lot of the videos on there and um, just uh, and then I also like to record, especially with like the local guys to try to. To use it as promotional stuff like look this is what you're missing out on you need to you know make sure you see them next time they're Absolutely. playing and stuff like that like I don't do it as much with uh, some of the larger bands of the Rob Zombie level or anything because yeah, yeah, there's yeah. A, there's enough of those like it's like you say yeah, right. but you know some you know guys like yourself there's not a you guys don't probably don't have a ton of videos uh, yeah. of you guys playing so it's nice yeah, no, to, people can gladly record yeah that. right, yeah. <laughs> that's, right. So, that's what I try to you know get a nice video if I can get some decent audio of it and put it up there and Get people to to see what's going on. All right. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, everybody's got their reasons for recording stuff. It's just yeah, yeah. The different different style of concert nowadays yeah. than yeah. it was. Absolutely. Yeah. You don't have lighters during the stage. <laughs> right. You have cell phones instead cell phones. of lighters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. There's uh, yeah. They all every some people like fully embrace it. You know, like they'll. Um, I just went to a show Friday as a country guy, Chris Jansen. And he uh, and he's like, "Everybody, get your phones out, record it, you know, to get a picture and so or whatever." And like, so he, you know, he wanted it, but he's also on the way up, you know. Mm-hmm. So he's, you know, yeah. trying to get exposure and things. But right. uh, absolutely, that's um, but yeah, and then you go to a show too, and every day we tell everybody, get your phone, you know, turn your flashlight on, and light up the whole place. And oh, yeah. it does uh-huh. look pretty cool though sometimes yeah. compared to. Yeah, but, uh, I could imagine that would look pretty cool. Just all yeah. this blue light everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean it's 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 kind of crazy. Like you think like if we ever had like a power outage in that place, like everybody, you know, the, obviously the phone batteries would eventually. But if you if like we were in a place like that in an arena, they can light that whole thing up like it was like a, <laughs> absolutely yeah, right. it's pretty wild. <laughs> Looks like it's daytime. Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, yeah. So October third, pops CD release party, guys. Yes. Uh, Five dollars. We'll get you in. Cool five bucks. Yeah, and uh, and then I guess uh, the album's uh, separate on that. Or but you guys, uh, what you guys were saying, you got a deal. Oh, we have a special. Yeah, yeah. yeah. until uh, running from. I don't know when this is gonna air. Well, I'm, I'm gonna have this up Thursday, so it didn't go until okay. it go until well, Friday, right? Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, we got a day well, to our, get it. Our deal goes till <laughs> yeah. Friday, yeah. nine twenty-five. Uh, if you buy tickets off of our website, which is through the scope band.com um you, you get a free digital download of the full album yeah so five bucks gets you 15 bucks worth of goods yeah so. very nice so yes take advantage of that and we will mail you the tickets a 15 dollar yeah. value no, no charge <laughs> that's rolling back prices right. that's right <laughs> got the blue light special going on there. yeah yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah so we got a special going on, and then we're gonna have some new merch yeah. at the show. We do. Yeah, we're gonna have what? some hoodies. Oh, we are. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we are. No one told me. It's because you don't show up to band meetings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I live forty minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's almost almost hoodie weather. Yep. Yes. Yeah. We figured it's perfect timing. Why yeah. not? Yeah. I'm sure. People are gonna need hoodies. We're gonna need advertisements. So. Yeah. <laughs> You get, that, you get that underwear merch going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We do. Uh, could, we're gonna have some boy shorts in the works here soon. Nice. Strictly for boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not true. <laughs> I could use some new panties. Mine are filthy as hell. So. We'll get you some. Be the, the TTS jock strap. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is funny how much like. Uh, different things that people uh, put their name on and things like mm-hmm. I think uh, 
I think Gene Simmons is the is the master He's of it. He's the king. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Merchandising, that's what it's all yeah. about. Merchandising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy, he'll put his Kiss logo on anything. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Spaceballs the flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> Spaceballs. <laughs> the Dre <Detroit> movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I got that. Uh, I got that Mel Brooks box set. Oh um, man! Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's some quality entertainment right there. Like, Absolutely. I, it's uh, there's a couple of my I still haven't even got around to watching because every time I like feel like watching, like I end up putting in Young Frankenstein or Spaceballs or <laughs> Robin Hood and Minutes. Yeah, but you but know, there's like <laughs> but there's like uh, there's a couple on there like um, that I, I still haven't even watched. So I need I need to. Make my way through there, but uh, I think it's like seven DVDs total. It's got oh, nice. history, history of the world, and uh-huh. it's uh, what's that, like Angry Blazer Jurors Saturday or something like that, or some some along those lines. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. whatever it is. But yeah. it's one of them I haven't. That's the one I haven't seen. So yeah. I like, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I know I haven't seen it. Yeah. <laughs> with, with Young Frankenstein and as being as good as it is, man, and, and Spaceballs yeah, and stuff. Yeah, Spaceballs is the, those, the bees knees of the Mel Brooks yeah. stuff for me. Yeah. And uh, and like I said, uh, uh, Blazing Saddles. Oh yeah, Blazing Saddles. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's, there's, there's uh, there's so, so many great lines in those movies, man. He's he's a genius. Yeah. Quote him all day. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I could live my life on movie quotes. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights too. Like that's a, it's crazy to think like you look at that movie and like how like, um, you know, like Dave Chappelle, like you know, he's in the movie and be, before he makes his right, big break yeah. and stuff. And um, I, I think about that movie every time we're driving across the river too. I'm on the east side. I'm on the west side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen that. In <laughs> when uh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Little John. <laughs> no, don't be, don't be fooled. No. I'm I'm very large in real life. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's right up my alley, man. I I love comedy movies. I listen. That people always like, you know, there'd be something like Goodfellas or whatever, or some you know, classic uh, movies and stuff, or Godfather or whatever. People are like. You know, have you seen this? I'm like, no. I'm like, uh, you know, just now recent, like, you know, now I'm 30 and I'm finally kind of catching on to some some movies that are these classics and things. But I, uh, but for me, like, I use I, I just watch a lot of comedy. I like, you know, I love uh, it's like uh, I don't know how many times I've watched Tommy Boy, you know, oh, yeah. and like and stuff like it just classics, I'll watch it anytime it's on and and stuff and uh, any of the old Adam Sandler movies. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah they're early ones. Yeah. You can you can uh, a lot of the SNL people in general. Yeah, you absolutely. can throw those. You can throw most of the new Sandler movies in the trash. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, so, Twisted wasn't too. Or was it? I think it was Wedding Twisted. Singer was wasn't the it? last really good one I thought. Uh, Blender, that's what it was. Good stuff, but Blender I like, wasn't uh, too terrible. Yeah. Terry Crews was the funniest part of that movie. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, Chuck Blended. and oh, Chuck and Larry. That was, that was a great a, one. Yeah. Yeah, that one wasn't bad. I've only seen it once, so I can't yeah. make a full judgment on it. But then he's, uh, you got to see it twice. I got to see it twice. Yeah. I've got to see it twice. <laughs> <laughs> but then you got like... You're out of the band, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Grown ups. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just Rob remember. Schneider <laughs> is a carrot. Tifty turfty tifty turfty It's the stapler. <laughs> Just uh, South Park. reminded me of uh, Tenacious D when uh, when he said he was out of the band, and that won't be necessary. I quit. I was uh, I was jamming some some D uh, last night at work and stuff. Just uh, uh, a long ass fucking time ago in a town called Kickapoo. <laughs> That, uh, there's some metal for you with a uh, yeah, I with love D. the D. Uh, I can honestly say I'm a huge fan of the D. Yeah, <laughs> I met those we guys. We all know. <laughs> you guys meet them? I met uh, I met them. I got them to sign my record at uh, at Vintage Vinyl. They came through and they did a signing before uh, their show at the pageant. Nice. Uh, two awesome. two three years ago, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. And uh, so yeah, that was a. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I mean, we didn't, we, you know, it wasn't much. Like, it was very quick. And, uh, oh, yeah. So, yeah. like, they're trying to move the line along, and they didn't, weren't allowed pictures and all that stuff just because mm-hmm. there was such a big line. But it was it was just really cool just to be in the same room with them for a moment and uh, 
especially uh, you know not since Jack's like a big movie star now, mm-hmm. and then to, yeah. to get a see him in person and stuff, and it was pretty neat. Just yeah. to, okay. and they then they destroyed the the pageant. It was such a great show. Like it was, awesome. they uh, you know the new album uh, or the latest album is Rise of the Phoenix. Okay, and yeah. it's uh, and it's uh, spelt and uh, F E N I X, and so like it, um, you know, supposed to be a play on like penis and like, and then even the phoenix looks like a giant penis with wings, <laughs> and then I, at this show they had the phoenix on the stage, and then like um, like so for their finale like it like the the phoenix like. Ejaculated over the entire oh, crowd, geez. like all these, all these little paper sperms, and, uh, uh, and like then a like Ramstein yeah. right. <laughs> So then it like then it deflates down, and then and then it opens up like a big vagina. And, like, the guys come God. out for their encore. They come out of there like, oh man, it's, it was wet in there. Do <laughs> like, like, uh, they have a full band at that show, or was it just them? Yeah, they had a, yeah they had uh, it was the two of them and then they had like uh, a drummer and a bass player and maybe an extra guitar player I think. I've only seen them just yeah, both of them and their acoustics. Yeah, they uh, yeah. yeah they were great man. They were a lot of fun and just had me laughing the whole time and um, it uh they're, they're a great show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I mean I was really like had my fingers crossed that it, it was gonna be uh, Dave Grohl filling in on drums oh, like, yeah. like, like yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, so that would have been uh. You know, that would have been something really cool then. But yeah, absolutely. Um, he was too busy playing guitar from a wheelchair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, throne. Yeah, throne. Yeah, it became yeah. a throne. Yeah. Yeah, they, uh, That's awesome. That, yeah, <laughs> those really things yeah. for sure. But yeah, I love uh, I love that he does that like uh, the devil and stuff and like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the devil and I'll do what I want. Uh, yeah, they uh. I don't know. That's cool, man. I wish I could be at that level where I could just, you know, do whatever, do fun stuff want. like that. Yeah, yeah. goof off with my friends and just make get paid a lot of money to do it. And, yeah, absolutely. So. I mean, really, isn't that what we're all doing? Yeah, <laughs> just without the money. Yeah, without the yeah. money. Yeah, it's, it's like people do things just to get paid. That's, <laughs> that's just really sad. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's it's yeah, Go different. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kept to a shot of me wearing all Reebok. Yeah, clothes. right. <laughs> <laughs> now I get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember now. Yeah. I just watched that fucking movie like a few weeks ago. Did you? Yeah, because I hadn't seen it in like five years. So I was like, I should probably watch this again. Yeah. It was on Netflix. That was, that was my shit back in the day. Yeah. One or two? One. Yeah. Yeah. The two's good too. Oh, I don't think both great. great yeah. I only watch what's on Netflix, and I don't yeah. think two is on Netflix. So, yeah, yeah, I, just the first one. I uh, there's been rumors at times of like uh, a third one, mm-hmm. but I don't know if they'll ever do it. But I'd watch it if they did. Yeah, it. I'd, I'd heard that uh, the Dana Carvey and Mike Myers had like a big falling out. Cause, yeah. Uh, apparently, Dana Carvey accused Mike Myers of stealing the Doctor Evil character from him. Oh yeah. Huh? Yeah, like he came up with it or huh. whatever and then yeah Mike Myers stole it and made it big yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. based it off of a off of a yeah, this freaking is, Bond villain yeah, yeah this is just uh, yeah it's just something I read uh, it's, I think about a year ago I think I read that hmm. when they were talking about rumors of Wayne's World 3 yeah, that, yeah. Hmm. I don't know I don't know if they could pull off a of Wayne's World 3 It'd be awesome. It'd be kind of haggard for it, though. Yeah, I mean, they're both looking, looking they're kind both. of rough. But that's what, like, I think that's kind of the fun of it, though. Like, because, I mean, you're getting at a point, like, now where you're getting movies like, uh, you know, they're doing um, uh, Super like, Troopers 2 yeah, coming yeah. out. Yeah. They didn't. They um, just did Dumb and Dumber. Dumb yeah, and Dumber 2 was funny, man. I never, I never saw it. it. I haven't brought myself to watch it. Oh, uh, it was, it blew um, my expectations really? out of the water. Yeah, I, I didn't have very high hopes yeah. for it, but it was. I mean, the I first one. I laughing my ass off. The, the, the first one's like in my top three all time. Like, oh, it's yeah, just, uh, absolutely. I'll yeah. watch that anytime yeah. it's on. Yep. I don't think a day goes by where I don't quote that movie. Yeah. They go like, top, for sure. Like, well, well, see you later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's, I mean, that's one of those that just has so many lines. Like, it's just, uh, yeah, the, the big gulps. Uh, I, uh, um, oh, but then there's one of those movies too, like, as you watch it a, a third, fourth, fifth time, whatever it is, 
Like, you still keep catching more lines. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was... Yeah. I, I don't even know, maybe six, seven years ago. I, <laughs> I, I didn't know that Samsonite was a brand. Oh, yeah, like, really? I yeah, had no idea. Sure. Or, yeah, I'm out buying luggage all the time. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's yeah, a. And once I found out about that, hilarious. Sure, it was hilarious before. <laughs> I get the joke. <laughs> yeah, that, that's fun too. Like when you go, you you watch movies that maybe you watched when you were younger that you probably shouldn't have been watching when you were younger, and then you watch them as an adult, and then you 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 get more of the jokes that they find <laughs> yeah. they find like everything all clicks and stuff. And but uh, yeah, like uh, I like the line, um, you know, the whole thing and the. the when they're in the honeymoon suite in the tub, and then he's like, uh, "Yeah, some little Philly break your heart." Oh no, it was a girl. And then, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, she wrote me a John Deere letter. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, so, so, the, some crap about me not listening to her. Not <laughs> I don't know. Her. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the Silence of the Lambs for the first time a few years ago, and yeah. I was like, "Wow, I get like ten Family Guy jokes now." Yeah, yeah, I yeah. That's yeah, that's the that's the other <laughs> and Joe Dirt for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I understand the Buffalo Bill thing. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, Buffalo that's the, Bob is what Joe Hurt yeah. That's the other side of the coin, too, as you, as you go and experience more culture, you, get, you, get, you start getting all the other references from yeah. right. all that stuff. But, yeah, that, uh... <laughs> That, uh, Joe Dirt, man, that's a good one too. Oh, they yeah. just made a sequel to that. I haven't yeah. I haven't yeah. brought myself to watch that one either. But is it, is it out already? It's on. It's on Crackle. It's went, it oh, went really? right to right to Crackle. Oh, really? Crackle dot com. <laughs> so. Wow. I didn't know Crackle yeah. was still a website. Yeah. You know, uh, didn't they used to do the, like e grams or whatever? The, yeah, it was like it was kind of Crackle's kind of like the e bombs world sort yeah, of uh, video site like uh, kind of thing. But it was I don't know. They got some kind of exclusive deal and like they I guess uh, I don't know. You would think like a movie. I mean, Joe Dirt did well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. The first, so I don't know, but I guess they couldn't get anybody back uh, the sequel or something like that. So I, I think they got quite a bit of the cast back. I know Kid Rock didn't yeah. come back, but uh, that there's a big old hunk of poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a space peanut. Yeah. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I I think of that movie a lot because I uh, I work uh, do custodial work during the day oh okay and oh. so like the whole thing like uh, you know hey corn off the cob and you're like this kid always get his money back <laughs> so <laughs> you try and French up your name by adding yeah. E to it into the dirt <laughs> my entire work day consists of me and my buddies quoting Archer, Spongebob or American Dad yeah that's pretty much the whole fucking day me and my wife go to uh, we took we went to go see SpongeBob to the Sponge Out of Water movie. Never saw it. Uh, I the, the, the two mo- the two movies are so funny. Like I I love the movies. I I don't get to watch the series very often, but the the two movies uh, crack me up, man. They're they're very funny. Dude, I don't like I love the first movie is hilarious. Yeah. And the first three seasons are amazing, but like after that, it just gets too like more. It's like in the beginning, it's a kid's show, but it has yeah. so many adult jokes in there. Sure. Like, I'll watch that still and be like, oh, I never got that joke before, yeah. and now I get it. Right. But, like, after that, it was just, like, all tailored for kids. I don't know, man. Like, Some of the animation in the later seasons are pretty graphic shit. Yeah. Man. Like, there's an episode where SpongeBob gets a splinter. And it oh, is the yeah. most violent looking splinter oh, I've ever yeah. seen. I mean, it's just infected pus, and it's on <laughs> a highly detailed image of it. Well, and then they go and pull the thing out yeah. of his thumb, and it just sprays <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll never yeah. forget There's... watching SpongeBob with my little brother and sister. And I'm, I was doing something else, you know, not paying attention. And all of a sudden, I hear some. Heavy metal coming out of the TV. This Pantera. And I Pantera. Up and there's a big Pantera logo, you know, with the Like, this is amazing. Yeah, dude, that episode is hilarious. One of my favorite metal bands of all time. I thought you said <laughs> we were going to the park. I did. The industrial park. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite uh, things that, like, you know, kids don't get, but as, as an adult, you get it. But, like, we're in the movie, in the first movie, like, where they. Um, are at the bar eating ice cream and they like get all like wasted on ice cream and he's like you know yelling at yelling and stuff and their eyes are like all bloodshot and stuff and like uh, and, and he's hung over the yeah, next day right. and he goes in and just tears Mr. Krabs a new yeah. one <laughs> it's just uh, yeah 
Yeah. Yeah. Dude, is, do you owe yourself to watch that movie? It's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, the whole. Uh, I I do the uh, line too a lot where um, where uh, they get these uh, those seaweed mustaches from the princess. Yeah. You know they're like they're trying to be they're they're like uh, you know unsure of themselves going into this uh, mission and stuff. She's like you know gives them mustache and they, they think they're big tough guys and all this stuff so like, they got these seaweed mustaches on and then they go up to like this biker guy and he's like you know that's not a mustache this is a mustache <laughs> and they squeeze them <laughs> mustache pops out yeah, of his that's, face uh, like, Alec Baldwin that does his yeah. voice he like rips him off he's like yeah. you still had pieces of lettuce to <laughs> from lunch <laughs> yeah. well, that's the, I mean you know it's funny Regardless, you know, whether, oh, yeah. whether you're 10 or 30 or whatever. Right. So. Yeah, <laughs> so, hate is going to hate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I love that stuff, man. We, uh, even like uh, the new one, uh, Inside Out, like we, we just watched that new Disney uh, Pixar oh, that was one. Pretty good. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there was like so many like great little things that are funny for adults that kids aren't going to get. But yeah. like, you know, uh, and I think that's what's fun about animated movies and, you know, these. Uh, and, and more children movies today that they're funny for all ages and stuff. Right. And they're yeah. getting a lot better. Yeah, for sure. Dude, you can't beat like yeah. '90s cartoons though, oh, yeah. oh, or Looney Tunes for that matter. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I heard. Um, yeah, yeah, are yeah. shit. I heard it's there's like a, a new '90s uh, Nickelodeon channel. channel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's gonna play like yeah. High Real Monsters, Rocco's yeah. Modern Life, yeah, all the shit. I all the classics from fucking Dexter's Laboratory, Powerpuff Girls. Uh, Splat. Doug. Yeah. Can't forget about Doug. Yeah. Fucking Rats. Hey Arnold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I uh, I love all like the uh, game shows like uh, yeah, uh, Double Dare yeah. and uh, Legend of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, yeah. yeah Legends yeah. of the Hidden yeah. Temple. Oh, Man, wanted to be on. That was a nerve wracking <laughs> show. You yes. Wait when for one of the Yeah, out, they come out of the wall the and get them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him your coin. Just go. Yeah. <laughs> I was listening to this uh, podcast, um, the About Last Night podcast, and it's just uh, two comedians, uh, Adam Ray and Brad Williams, and they usually talk to a bunch of other comedians, but he got, um, uh, what's that, Mark Summers, or, or yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the host? Yeah. yeah, so, like, they got to talk to him, and, and, and awesome. like, and he told a bunch of crazy stories about doing the game shows and, like, you know, and all this stuff, and... And I guess he, uh, he's, he's like, he wrote a book, that's why he was on the show to promote the book, but he's got like OCD or something yeah, and like, and yeah. like, and so he was talking about dealing with that and it was just, uh, it was interesting, man. Yeah, um, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, then I went back uh, as, after that I went and looked up some clips and I was looking at, you know, watching old, uh, things, videos on YouTube of him and, um. Uh, and then there's one that popped up, like what he's on, like t- Tonight Show, and yeah, with Leno and something happened, like with him and uh, I think it was Burt Reynolds or something. Like they started like fighting, and they ended really? up like <laughs> they like yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got some kind of like they had like a pie fight kind of thing, and then like it got like way over, you know, like yeah, they went, they it was a re- turned into a real thing, like and they started like you know they they kind of like Jay like separates them, you know, kind of thing, and then like they're sitting back on the couch and like. And you know, covered in pie filling stuff, and and then he's saying says something about like his wife or whatever, and you know, it was just oh wow, yeah, it was, Man, it was it yeah, sure, yeah. Up. <laughs> yeah, it was it was interesting. So yeah, if you're uh, looking for something to YouTube, uh, go check that one out. Yeah, so. Definitely check that. Yeah, <laughs> do that when I'm done watching cat videos. Yeah, right. <laughs> So, uh, somebody put some. I've, I've seen the video a couple of times, but somebody shared one the other day, and it was that video. It was kind of like a mashup kind of thing, a bunch of different ones. A bunch of cat videos. Uh, this was a dog. Uh, it was cats and dogs, but the, oh, the one I really like is this dog that like uh, the guy like opens the door, front door to the house, and like he look and he like you know he's already on the phone or something. Got the camera going, and the dog is like just sitting up in the chair. Like, <laughs> like, you know, like just, you know, just, just the, yeah, I watch that one. Yeah, it's just the, the funniest look on his face. Just like, cracks me up. So obviously, makes great uh, radio. Yeah, yeah. everybody but, can uh, see it. Yeah, yeah. Right. but uh, just visual. Sure. 
<laughs> Just imagine a dog sitting up looking like a person. That's right. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's people. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I guess uh, we ought to wrap this thing up, huh? Um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Been, uh, yeah. Um, so, we'll throw some tracks on. What are you guys thinking? What are, you, what are we feeling? We'll throw the we'll throw throw signal throw. on for sure. Uh, that, I mean, Do they have from below? Yeah. From below? Yeah. Throw a yeah. looking good with broken bones in there too. Okay. It's, a nice, it's a nice heavy one. Yeah. yeah. What, uh, so, wh- where do you, uh, you guys got any stories about those songs? Like, where do those come about or anything? Uh, how do you, uh, how do you get uh, motivated to write that stuff? Actually, From Below was, uh, I think it was the third song we ever yeah. wrote. Yeah, third one. And uh, not really a whole lot of a story to that one. It was yeah. kind of, it was one of the first three songs. Like, we started out with three core songs. Mm-hmm. And distance, then just, yeah, we had Distance, You Don't Know, and From Below. And it was me and Keenan working those out. And then we got together with Alex and hashed those three songs out and then started writing a couple more and yeah. decided to take up the, uh, the precious Henry here. <laughs> yeah, they already had, I guess had like probably six or seven written. Yeah, we had almost the whole album written the, pretty much. Yeah, yeah by the time I auditioned, I was just scrolling through Craigslist one night and I oh, saw yeah. their ad and I was like, checked them out and I was like, this guy's pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go audition. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, the Craigslist, uh, it's the crazy stuff, man. Yeah, it's a good. It's, it's uh, I've heard a lot of stories like you know, bands that come yeah. together like that. And it's uh, he didn't get murdered. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or that's raped. a plus. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, about that. <laughs> looking good with broken bones. There is actually a pretty funny story behind that song. <laughs> when we were in the process of writing it, uh, oh, there yeah. was I'm not going to name any names, but there was a girl who came over to this to the house while we were downstairs jamming and. Uh, she had to use the restroom, and this was before I was in the band, right? No, you were no. here. Was I? Here? Yeah, we were. We were just writing that song. It was the first night we had done anything with it, and uh, she happened to flush the toilet, and I guess used a little too much toilet paper or something, but it caused the pipes in my basement to just start spewing water <laughs> all over the place. We're in the middle of playing this song, and then it's just there's water everywhere. We're like, what the hell? <laughs> She didn't know what was going on and didn't know how to use a plunger, which was confusing. But whatever, that's Oops. beside the point. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're, we're we're downstairs, and it ended up having the working title of Titanic for the longest time because it was it felt like we were sinking. We're like we're going down, fellers. <laughs> so yeah, we still refer to like every single one of our songs by the working titles yeah. when we practice and stuff. I don't even know what they're all called. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even might want to get on. like study study the for real names of them yeah. before we play our show cuz I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> might be something worthwhile knowing. Yeah, yeah. If you ever got to the point where some fan wanted a set list or something <laughs> they wouldn't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dick butt, what is that? Must <laughs> <laughs> be a new song. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, that's cool. Like uh, that, you guys uh, that you guys came together that way. And uh, so, when you're writing this stuff, like, I mean, so you're saying like, um, you guys pretty well had uh, the instrumentals down, and then does Henry write? You write the lyrics to it, or did you yeah, guys? Yeah, I write most of the lyrics. Yeah, uh, he's done a little bit. Yeah, I've done a, I've done a couple of the songs, but <laughs> Henry's the Henry's the hook man. Yeah, so you did, you did most of. Um, of second to none, I yeah. just added the chorus in, and then uh, distance. And then distance is kind of half of yeah. that between yeah. us, and then everything else was me, my but, uh, shitty writing. <laughs> <laughs> He's so hard on himself. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, pretty much though. Yeah, we we did have a major- We had pretty much every song laid out prior to him joining the band, right. except for second to none. Yeah, as far as this album is concerned, yeah, and we got three new ones for the 
for the release show. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have a couple of new songs to yeah. throw out at the uh, show. So, yeah. any so, other uh, surprise? We got some yeah. other surprises uh, in line too, maybe. Yeah, there will be surprises. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Very cool. Jake's penis might flop. Hey, uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I don't know. have a little wardrobe. We'll function. see. We'll <laughs> see. We're gonna have some giveaways. Do a little. Yeah, s- we are Super yeah. Bowl circa yeah. two thousand and <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <that was>. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, we're gonna have a. Uh, some giveaways, some raffle off, some stuff. Nice. Yeah, so definitely come to the merch table. Yeah. And uh, see what that's all about. Very Still cool. Still getting the details hammered out, but uh, but yeah, free shit at the show that's if you show right. up. You know. That's right. Yeah. Making more than a fifteen dollar, you know. Yeah. yeah that's right. <laughs> There's so much value. <laughs> <laughs> I can't express the you value. Could, you could potentially walk away with a lot of shit for five dollars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you know, worst case scenario, just come over to the merch table and chat with us afterwards, yeah. right? Yeah. Or before, whatever. Be real that, chatty. <laughs> Some chatty Cathy's. That's, uh, I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. That's my favorite part is just to, to, yeah, to, to take it to the next. I mean, you know, I was kind of talking off mic about how I've been able to take being a fan to being a friend and everything. And it's like right. it's really a cool moment when you can uh, get to hang with you guys, you know, off the stage and you know and and you know become friends and stuff too so like that's that's really cool uh moment you know like and then you get to meet you guys and and get to you know uh know you personally and stuff besides just as uh the rock stars on the on stage (laughs) (laughs) yeah we got to uh we got to talk to most of the guys from devil you know yeah. After that yeah. show, because there's yeah. only you know was cool yeah. there's twenty people there. Right. You guys were you guys were half the crowd. Right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. And their drummer, he is super nice. Very, yeah. Very Australian. Aussie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The guy's so Australian. cool though. He was just smiling the entire oh, yeah. show. Oh yeah. He was, he was great. out the whole show. Yeah. yeah. It was hilarious. Nice. He was just looking at everyone. Love seeing that. You know yeah, the dude is just on. having a blast. And yeah. he was actually hanging out at their merch table, just like off to the side, like listening to all the bands, you know, and yeah. you know, watching what he could, you know. Yeah. After the show, he was he was like, you were in that uh, first band, right? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. He's like, man, you were wailing. That's <laughs> 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 fucking awesome. <laughs> I, uh, I saw Matt Bronger at uh, Firebird one night, and uh, he's a stand-up comic, and my friend Ryan opened up for him, Ryan Dalton, and and uh, Matt actually remembered his name, and I was actually out watching his set and was laughing and stuff, and then, and so I thought that was really cool that he's like genuinely, you know, watching and you know enjoying the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then when he took the stage, you know, he's like, "Hey, what about uh, how about let's give it up for Ryan and and stuff?" And it was just like a really th- and then like he played on uh, Ryan's name, how uh, you know Ryan. Uh, kind of, you know, has like kind of nerdy, you know, glasses and stuff, kind of looking. But how Ryan Dalton sounds like a big, tough, like '80s, you know, action. You know, <laughs> this is Ryan Dalton. Sounds, you know, it's like, like yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so he made it. You know, it was fun that he was like riffing on his name and and made a made a whole joke about it and stuff. But it was, you know, it's cool that when they when you're opening for somebody and they actually take the time to, you know, acknowledge the opening exactly. bands and yeah, stuff. Absolutely. You know, like, Instead of just hiding out the whole time, yeah, they come out and do their thing. And yeah, leave. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I know. Um, uh, what's uh, I forget his name now. The uh, drummer for Head PE, he's always real good about that stuff too. Um, my bunch of my friends, uh, X714 and Hollow Point Heroes, have got to play with him a couple times, and and he's always out there on the side of the stage, rocking out with the the band, and and it's really cool to see when like yeah, the the headliners are supporting and stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. That'd be cool. But yeah, all right. Well, uh, so yeah, again, October third, pops, five dollars through the scope discrepancies. Uh, what uh, was it? Uh, Post primal. Post primal. Right? Yeah. Noesis. And yep, noesis. Noesis. Yeah. Is that what we got at this point? Uh, right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There might be a couple more added on. All there, right. That's what we're looking at right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's uh, that'll be fun. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna be, be a hell of a night. Yeah. All ages. Yep. Yes. Yep. There's a uh, two dollar surcharge for miners, but uh, cool miners. Whatever. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Whatever. Two bucks. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that uh, that'd be a good time. And uh, so go on uh, through the scope band dot com shop uh, slash shop if you want to buy them online, or you can uh, and you can get the digital album exclusive. That's right. 
Uh, until Friday. Yeah. Yes. Or you can catch these guys in person and buy a five dollar ticket or right. uh, discrepancies. Uh, they they got tickets too, right? Oh yes. So, yeah. and so does yeah. Oasis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, all all the bands should have tickets right now. Yeah. So yeah. hit up any and all of them. Right. Um, and then what what do we uh, what do we agree to play? Come uh, from, from below. below. From below. Looking from below. Yeah. And, uh, we can give a damn broken. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and I'll uh, I'll throw those on and and get you a little sample of what you're in store for on October third. Oh, yeah. cool. All right, well thanks a lot, guys. This has been a great time. Thanks, time, for man. Us, man. Yeah, thanks, thanks so. Well, man. And uh, I will see you there October third. Sweet. Yeah. Looking forward to it. All right, episode one nineteen. It's a wrap. Bye. Rock, 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 rock,